Oh. Alrighty. Hello, welcome to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. I'm sorry, they're going to be loud. That's just how they are. <laughs> as, I, I, as I was going in, I was like, oh, they, it seems fine. And then I saw the levels on the microphone when I wasn't even talking. And I was like, uh, okay. Um... But, yes, <sighs> back to Baldur's Gate 3, it's been a bit since I've played this, like I haven't played it since I think last time I played it on the channel, um, I don't fully recall where we were, I think we had just gotten to the grove, cause in the, um, the screen it shows when I was loading into this. I should have just done this after it was done loading. I'm so sorry. I just worried that they'd start off with like people doing dialogue as they often do when they load in. I have multiple times. <laughs> like I'm somebody who needs the um, subtitles, um, especially when I'm running around. And I have multiple times had them begin speaking during the loading screen between areas and not like not been able to catch the first three lines of the conversation so i just i didn't i didn't know if we would have the same issue here so i just figure you know <laughs> yes you have to sit through the loading screen with me but you know you will catch all the dialogue <laughs> i also had a moment of panic because as I came in to like start playing, Baldur's Gate 3 was like, hey, I need a little update. You wanna give me a little update? And I was, ah, yes. I'm so sorry. This is just how it's going to be. We're gonna have to give it a minute to load everything in. Uh, but yeah, it, it was like, Baldur's Gate 3 was like, hey, do you wanna, why is Gale bald? Hang the fuck on. Gail, when did you become a wild magic sorcerer? Hail. No rest for the wicked, huh? Let me get a better look at this. Fucking hitman ass wizard. <laughs> it looks like Agent 47, doesn't it? Kind of. But I can't really see his his um <clears throat> can't really see his face all that well. I don't know if that's the shadow if I don't have my darkness up high. My uh brightness up high enough. Okay, I look fine. Have I spoken to these fine folks yet? Oh god. Okay, hang on. Game still needs a minute to load, so we're all gonna stand still again. Okay. Cause the map's still black, so that that ain't right. is that? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go talk to Roland. Hang on, I am recording, right? I am recording. Great. Elves, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people <laughs> who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, <laughs> please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. <laughs> These people aren't fighters. We can help! Or yell louder. That's fine too. <laughs> hmm. I. Hmm. See, I know how important it is to persuade them to stay, but I don't know if Monk is about the same thing. Okay, I'm going to really quickly save and just see if it has the same effect. Um, if it makes everything worse, I am going to reload. I'm not playing honor mode, and I want to get the unique dialogue, but I also know this is really fucking important. Uh, yeah. To leave is a heavy choice. It will weigh on whatever path you walk next. Just like I was saying. Don't want all these lives on my conscience. We need to stay. Sir. Fine. We'll stay. 
If good. we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Great. Thank you, Roman. Huh. Okay, so it does have the same effect. That's that's interesting that like <laughs> if you're not a monk <laughs> Yes you are, sweetheart. <laughs> I love Roland. Uh, anyways, so uh, yeah, it's interesting that oh the map was black because I hadn't gone anywhere in the hollow maybe. Anyways, uh, it's interesting that like what's usually a persuasion check is is just a, an automatic success um, if you if you're a monk. That's interesting. I wonder if there's another. I wonder if there's anything else that would have had the same effect. Like I wonder it, what what dialogue fighter might have had in that situation or like a folk hero background oh. that's nice i was i was trying to talk to uh torin this place is a bloody death trap not a sanctuary you should clear off while you can thank you did you did your face texture deload while we were in the middle of that conversation nice uh open what's in here yeah, just some money and a, oh, a starion. Here's a little gift for you. Uh, and what's in the second one? Okay. Yeah, I'll, you know what? I'll take that pouch too. Just while I'm at it. Oh, I don't have speak with animals. <laughs> That's such a disappointment. Well. Thanks, Spear. Don't have a word. Oh. No. Hang on. Ah, I should have just waited for you to succeed, and then you would have said something, I bet. N no, I... Oh, come on. You're not gonna let me do the Arcana check now? Motherfucker. Do I have to go down? Every single companion and have them do it? Oh wait, hang on. Yeah, guidance yourself. Just cause you've got it. Damn it. I bet I am. I'm not gonna use my inspiration on this. I certainly am, Gail. At least you're good at Arcana. Go on. So, I don't know how to change my dice. I've seen people who have different dice. Oh, hang on. Is it that down there in the corner? Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Ooh. Right. Can't do nothing about that, apparently. Um, yes, you certainly are. I wonder if it's in settings, options? Uh, it's probably not in, no, because that's like video, video. I don't know when pinned means. I'm gonna say always because uh, I need that information. See? <laughs> He's talking while I'm looking at my options to see if I can change how my dice look. <laughs> Is that like a subtitle size also? Oh, there is. Oh, that's dialogue. And then overhead text. Yeah, just like a little bit bigger. Yeah. No. No, I, I will not be doing that. 
Okay, well, that seems great. None of those are dice. I wonder if I can change that during a dice roll. <laughs> right. No, don't steal from the storage chest. Oh, it's Will. Hi, Will. Love you, man. Give me a best shot. People are always like, oh, he's so boring. And it's like, God forbid we have a single companion who's just like a normal fucking dude. He's so you cute. Can do this. I love all the tiefling kids. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Some of them are fully Run. like the blade of frontiers at your the man's smile burns <laughs> down on you. And his thoughts become you. You are the blade of frontiers <laughs> racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead. Diabolical figure, red skin and sable curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. I wonder what Will sees when he looks into my mind. Held great fires. You were on the ship. I sure was. <laughs> I got any old friends I can get. I thought. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. That's for sure. The stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not sorry. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. Oh. The devil's advocate. That's the a first time the blood I've between ever fucking succeeded on that check. In three, four runs. What the hell is dangerous territory according to devils you should consider? Devil, you should consider better company. Yeah. A fiend makes for poor company. Unless it's been stuffed and mounted on your wall. <laughs> Her name is Carla, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the well, hell. That's to unfortunate my flesh. for you, sweetie. The damned elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Yeah, sorry, sweetheart, but uh, she is, in fact, my daughter, so you will not be laying a hand on her. But, you know, I'll totally help you cast this devil back into the house. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Wonderful. <laughs> I will... A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Oh, Gail likes him. That's cute. Um... Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's just, um... I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted by them. Um, it also doesn't help that my brain's been scrambled. What do you guys think of the new guy? You approved of that. A few warlocks in my time. Huh. Talented, of course. They're sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's like, I, it's unfortunate, but I rarely do ever pull out, uh, Will. I think I only do it for, like... We're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. <laughs> yeah, you know he would kill you in a second if, if circumstances were different. Um, what do you have to say? The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope. Will lives up to his name. I need all the help 
we can go. Um. God, I saw somebody on the Baldur's Gate 3 wiki be like, Oh, you know, when I started romancing Shadowheart, she just turned into, like, this this kind of, like, sweet dork, and she's not this, like, cool, cool, icy, you know, asshole anymore. Wax. I want to have an asshole run where I'm just a, like I'm not evil. I'm just an asshole to everybody around me. Nothing but goblins in the wild out for blood. I keep getting distracted. And the here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. <laughs> Target. Uh okay. Uh, how's my athletics? That's plus three. What does this do? Is this another auto succeed? Uh, like this, then. Focus. Focus. A strike! Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're such a sweetheart. Bet you'll put it to good use. Just the goblins we have to worry about. Druids are treating us like vermin. <laughs> but I'll keep at it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I don't know what he says if I. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> uh, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, right. I forgot. He's got a sh uh, the soldier background. Um, right, so I was saying, like, somebody, somebody was, was all like, oh, you know, she's not this, this, like, cool, cool person anymore, she's just, like, a dork in love, and I was like, when was Shadowheart cool, sweetie? She's, this is Girlie's first time at Hot Topic, and she's so excited that she's blown her entire allowance. She's like, that is the, <laughs> thank you, that's, like, the entire vibe she gives off. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Do not know maneuver your greatest weapon is your cunning. I don't recall if this is less impact news, children, you're all going to die. Some of these fucking suggestions are so funny. Um, I'm gonna do the Seldarine one. Is that Donny? That might be Donny. I prefer when they smile. <laughs> Hang on, is Donny here? Cause I love that kid. Ide Yume Gang. I think it was Ide I was seeing. Also, I don't know if any of these names are being pronounced correctly. Nobody ever pronounces their names out loud for me. <laughs> but yeah, it's like. One of my favorite things about Shadowheart is how fucking cringe she is. Like, <laughs> she doesn't know that she's cringe, but this woman is so cringe. Oh, there's the rat. She can't do anything with. Can I? Did I talk to you already and offend you? Hello, little friend. Uh-huh. Let's see how this works out. I have a plus two to wisdom. Not as good as with my druid, but that's good. I, I had a moment of like, oh fuck, I forgot to do the guidance. The eyes soften as he emits a pained squeak. Maybe. You realize the source of his discomfort. One of his front teeth is chipped. This is a baby. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. That rat model standing up is horrifying. Right. This place.
This place is really irritating to deal with. But I want to get in there. I think there's something important in there, but I don't recall what. So let's try, let's try a little jumping puzzle. Mm, not enough space for any of that, huh? Yeah, because you can just see in through here. There's just this chick sitting. Sitting there. <laughs> Seems to be nowhere that I can jump to get closer to my goal of being inside of here. <laughs> Here's my little friend. That's her saying, come on, just move to herself, but because I'm not in there, the game is is not quite treating her, uh, her anything correctly. Also, this rat is horrifying. Why do you look like that, sir? <laughs> Something is wrong with that rat. I wonder if it's from here. Oh, that's my favorite character. Don't, don't you worry about her. I wonder if then, oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, there is another way to the back of that. I don't quite know if it's going to help me. Because I don't think anybody has invisibility at the moment. What level am I? Level three. Quite ready for you. <laughs> level three. I did not give you invisibility. Sucks to suck, I guess. I don't speak to me, Gail. Hmm. I know what's going on with her, so I'm looking at this to see if there is a chance. There's a chance that something here. Oh. Oh, that's spicy. I could do that. Um, okay, Sanctuary is great. I will get it back in a second, but... Actually, Warding Bond. Oh, resistance to all damage. I need Sanctuary for something that's coming up. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Let's see... Shadowheart, because I know what her problem is. Could you reach her from here? No. So what if... Okay. I'm going to ungroup you. I, I don't know if any of what I'm about to do is going to accomplish anything, but I'm going to make an attempt to help this woman, because I did not manage to do it last time. Do I have a lock pick? Yes, I do. His, his bonus is plus seven. If he fails at this point, it's because he wasn't paying attention. Okay. <laughs> then open the door. Get up. No time to dally. Okay. <laughs> no time to dally, she says, as I am doing nothing but. I just wonder if I do this. Can I? Okay. So that's as far as she can see. <laughs> I, you know, if this were a real D and D game, I would be meta gaming. But alas, do what? Is it touch? Uh, it's considered melee. Okay. You know what I'll do? I will group her with the party and I will just try and walk in. Of all the bloody things to happen, she says. Stop. Uh huh. Yep. Hmm.
Let's do some insight. Well, I got a plus four, so thanks for the guidance, Shadowheart. I am going to use a fucking inspiration here because <laughs> one. Oh, I forgot to check the dice. Damn it. Don't, don't look at me like that. <laughs> you can stay. Just keep your hands to yourself. All right. Okay. Well, that's all right. And I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion. Yep, you're right. <laughs> Back in the. <laughs> Uh, no, because she will instantly call the guards on me. Um, I. No, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> I wanted an edge against the goblins, and I got it. I'm as strong as a bugbear, and fearless. But the old lady, she warned me of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding the crates. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I, yeah, I wasn't gonna... Uh, I, I actually have never picked that dialogue option, but I do know that if you touch literally anything while she is in the room, uh, sometimes even if you've, like, knocked her out, um, like, I think I knocked her out with drow poison once, because I came here after doing some other stuff, so I had drow poison. Um... Yeah, even if you knock her out with jaw poison, sometimes she glitches and just calls the guards on you. And then some. Just hope this wears off soon. So it seems like she's stuck here guarding crates because her legs are paralyzed. So why don't I? Whatever it takes. We'll just get her out of the way so that I can do something. How is Target too far? You can walk to her. You dumb motherfucker. No problem. Look, you're not really supposed to be here, but I'll turn a blind eye. Oh, for don't, fuck's don't sake. Touch anything, all right? I'm here to steal something valuable, lady. Just just get out. Oh my god. No one stop me yet. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, you're just going to sit here. Let them come. That cheetahs angrily, his dark eyes staring mm. at you, eager for this danger to be banished. Okay. Lady, can you just fucking leave? Look, between us, just don't touch any. <sighs> I'm here to steal something. Sorry, lady, but what? Not everyone subscribes to what is mine. What? I didn't see. You see that shit? What? Tempers are rising. I'm just trying to close the door. You see this shit? I, it's so fucking annoying. For some inexplicable reason. She just won't let me close the fucking door so I can knock her unconscious. <laughs> okay, you know what? I wonder if there's something I can do. There's got to be something I can... Oh, hang on. Shadowheart. You've got command, don't you? <laughs> I can send you to go do something else. Hmm. I've never used Disguise Self. Hmm. No, okay, so I can't Disguise Self as a specific person, which is unfortunate. Because I really feel like that would be the best use of it. Hmm. What is a 
level two do? Oh, effect an additional target. Okay. Not quite what I want. Let's see. <laughs> Got all those. Do not have... What was it? Command? Should be a level two to three. I don't recall. Hmm... I could cast blindness on her, but yes, right. That's one turn. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna enter turn-based mode. I'm really fucking annoyed because there doesn't seem to be any way to. Like, I use that level 2 spell slot specifically assuming that I would then be able to convince her to, like, leave, right? But I can't. Oh, hang on. Why is fear even bothering? Uh, you're not important to that. You are. Yes, speaking of Shadowheart, I need you to blind this woman. No, nope, that's Charm Person. I need you to blind this woman. Oh, gosh. Okay, seems like I'm... What? Seems like I'm not supposed to be in turn-based mode here, but alas, I am. So, that's everybody hiding. <laughs> Alright. So, are you going to do anything, Pandarina? Come. Nope. Okay. Gail? Hmm. Actually, I do wonder. It's so irritating that technically the target's out of sight, even though she's not. You can you can see her through the through the blinds of of not blinds through this. Well, I guess I can from this angle. Hmm, so this technically does blind her. But then once she leaves it, she'll be unblinded. So he's not really of much help to me. Oh, wait. Okay, before I do all this, I'm mad because she's already mad at Fier, which makes no sense. He was just trying to close the fucking door, but... I'm going to save just to see if things go weird. Yeah, okay. What do you mean not enough space? Plenty of space. Okay, so yeah, all right, fine. If I were to summon it here. <laughs> There's a hand there now. We'll deal with that hand in just a moment after I've blinded this woman. Ooh, right. There's a 40% chance she's going to fail this. Hmm. If I disguise myself as a tiefling, I can convince her I'm supposed to be here instead. Let me try that. Let me try this. Ooh. 
Great. Let's see what she says. Yes. Now try having a conversation with her. Any goblin comes near me. Look, you're not really. Uh, how do you know that, lady? Uh, that's fucking annoying. Now I have to spend an entire other turn just sitting here and waiting. She's not really looking at you. <sighs> uh, I guess I took my action to talk to her. That's irritating. Alright, it's a summon. So. Hmm. Does anybody have anything in their inventory that would make her sleep? All right. We got some things. I don't know if we have anything that would make her sleep. It's mage armor. <laughs> I looked over and was like, is that a hireling? When did I get a hireling? No. No, dumbass. <laughs> it's the character that you just turned into a different character. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this through some stupid method. And she's going to like it. Okay. Get up there. Yeah, dude, you're not doing anything of use. I will not mind you. Okay, so how do I... Mage hand, right? Yes. Okay, so I, I control the mage hand directly. Can I make it snake? No. <laughs> <laughs> Which, honestly, understandable. Oh, yeah, take that. What do you mean can't be added to inventory? This is no scholarly record. <laughs> okay, well, I ended its turn because I was trying to... Oh, hang on. Gale has sleep. Yeah, I'll sleep. That's probably way more effective than attempting to um this is quote unquote dash because okay either blindness or sleep or both We'll see how this all turns out. Shut up, fear. I'm trying to help a rat. I'm doing the most important thing in the game. Okay. Combined 24 hit points, huh? Okay, also, why are you telling me she's out of sight? Sleeping. Oh my god. Fucking beautiful. Okay. Oh, hang on. Uh, cancel end turn. Uh, you can probably move farther than any of the other ones. Oh shit, right. Never mind, because I need a starion to pick the lock first. Okay, excellent. She's sleeping. Now I can fucking take this shit. That's fine. <laughs> Once again, was confused as to when I got a hireling. No, that's just Shadowheart. Dear God, this should not have been so fucking difficult. Academic disclosure. This research was funded independently and conducted at a site in Avernus, the first plane in the Nine Hells. 
Candlekeep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of infernal, of mortal souls. Soul coins as a concept are one of merciless simplicity. The sum of personal and magical essence, the soul, is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils and their cohort. They are frequently traded, for their value can purchase mercenaries, magical items, and even fuel the strange engines in the house. However, there's a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted she has one coin she will never sell, for it was the bargain that got her promoted out of, Lemu out of Lemur's Christ, Lemur status. <clears throat> she connected me to a half-elf warlock who had promised his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. The next 50 pages appear to be a painstakingly written legal document in Infernal, a headache-inducing number of footnotes. That's funny. Uh, steal that. And also, while you're at it, steal everything in this cabinet. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Uh, well, I'm not trying to pickpocket the rat. Yes. Oh, I see. Now that I have it, Fier has to end the conversation. <sighs> right? Is that what this is telling me? I should speak up. You should. Go speak to the rat. It's vitally important. Was it in the pantry chest? Blood chitters angrily. His dark eyes stare. No? Will that convince him that it's empty and there's nothing in it? Maybe it is in the pantry chest. Blood chitters his dark eyes. The cabinet key, maybe? You know what I'll do? I'll transfer a bunch of shit out of his inventory and into uh, fears. And just see. Because I think it's the drow poison that he's responding to. So I'll just give all that to fear and see if. Well, then don't, baby. That's up to you. Okay. Oops, excited. There we are. The chest is free from danger once again. Thanks, sweetie. Anyways, let's all get the fuck out of here. <laughs> She's still sleeping. Fuck, only for two turns. Okay. Everybody out. <laughs> What? Did I just waste a key point? Alright, get the fuck out, Gale. We did what we came here to do. It was much more irritating than it needed to be. Yeah, pick that up, Shadowheart. Uh, it was much more irritating than it needed to be, but we fucking got it done. So let's just... Dismiss that. Oh, she's finally decided to lie down. Okay. Yep, we just need to get out. <laughs> oh. No, while well, you're there, Fear, close the fucking door. Because she can't get mad at you. <laughs> that was so annoying. All that, just for some fucking drow poison. No, you're not supposed to be hiding, sweetie. Let's get on with it. Great. Exit turn-based mode. So I'll get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that was so annoying. Why? Oh, he has guidance. I was like, why the fuck? 
All right, now to deal with this. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. I love you, Saza. Put it down. She can't fight oh, back. Boy. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Love you so much. Anyways, I'm gonna do the thing that I always do. Looks like the absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You move. Once again, my favorite part of this game is that everybody looks at this like tall, you know. Well, I didn't choose the beefy option for him, uh, you know. Damn. Um, yeah, it's it's like everybody looks at this, you know, big titted drown. It's like, yep, yeah, that's a dude, and I, you know what? I appreciate that. It's like, <laughs> you know, they're just like, yep, okay, fine then. Let me use inspiration on this. I have four of it. You're right. I wish you would. I really do. <laughs> Damn you. Damn it. Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? I was wondering if she would have different dialogue. It sounds like she doesn't. <laughs> I feel like... Hmm... I feel like this is the most monk option. Like, you know, Fear kind of believes believes this as well, but I feel like this is the most monk option. You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. <laughs> right. You're gonna be sorry. Every last one of you. Oh hi, Gail. <laughs> but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the yawning portal. <laughs> of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainment. All right. Oh, a drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Thiric walk into a bar. <laughs> Your standard fare. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. Maybe it was some weird... <laughs> Both are equally. Out came the crossbow, and a hush fell over the entire room. <laughs> I stood up and yelled, "Shadow Dark Ale for everyone!" The crowd cheered. Tension drained into five dozen <laughs> tankards, and soon all was well again. You know, I don't frequently get this. <laughs> Mind you, all I did was call for ale, but you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Well, I drink to that. I don't often hear this anecdote from him. Usually he says something different here. Interesting. Go ahead. I actually I thought that was going to be his other thing. Okay, how long did that bullshit That bullshit took me so fucking long. I'm so sorry. I went to turn-based mode for that. Anyways, I'm gonna talk to my best friend. Hi, Saza. I love you. No, she didn't. And unfortunately, I'm going to be killing her. Um, just very. Um, I'm not very good at deception. Oh no. Right. I keep forgetting to check and see if that fixes dice. Love you. We'll be heroes. Bless God, priest of sun. In the name of the absolute. Ouchie. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads. No matter how much of a beating they take. <laughs> Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. Mighty booyah. 
Gail usually explains who the Booyag is here. Well, not what one is, but Booyag is the goblin word for magic and also how they refer to every single magic user. I don't know why he's not triggering his usual dialogue. Do we not have high enough approval? Let's see what I can do. I won't. I love you so much, Saza. I love you so much. Um, she is a nasty little creature, but I just... Oh, what can I do for you? Uh, okay. Nobody else has... Oh, Jesus Christ. I think I just saw through the Matrix there. Uh, but yeah, this is where I'm gonna end this episode. I am so sorry that I spent so much fucking time on my bullshit there. Check on that. What's my approval with you like? Ah, that would do it. That would absolutely do it. Usually I have much higher approval with him than this. Oof. And the Starion does not like me one bit. That sucks, because I think I was trying to... I forgot that I have a Shadow Heart again. Um, usually I'm much higher with approval with the Starion by now. Don't quite know what I did to piss him off. Well... <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm I'm usually much higher in approval with everybody. I don't have to think about why that is and figure out how to fix it, but that'll be next time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry about all that bullshit in the middle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it should not be that hard to handle that lady, is all that I'm saying. Anyway. <laughs> Kind of episodes Mondays, Thursdays show up or don't. <laughs> I'll see you then.